Is it possible to build a text-to-image generation app using Google AI Studio? Give me five minutes and I'll prove it. First, visit the Google AI Studio website. When you arrive, this is the homepage. Below, you'll see a section that displays different models. By default, Gemini 3 Pro is selected, which is the latest model published on November 21st. The next option is Speech-to-Text, which allows you to provide speech that will automatically be converted into text. The third option is the Plus icon, which lets you upload files directly from your local system. Another very interesting feature is, I'm feeling lucky. If you don't have an idea for your app, simply click this button and Google AI Studio will generate a default app idea for you. If you scroll down, you'll find multiple options under Supercharge Your App with AI. Here, you can access features like an AI-powered chatbot for websites or apps, prompt-based video generation, 3D model generation, research visualizations, landing page builders, and more. We will create a simple app where the user types a prompt and the backend generates generates an image based on that prompt. Type the following prompt into Google AI Studio. Build a simple web app where a user types a prompt and the backend generates an image using the Imogen 3D model. After entering the prompt, click the Build button. Google AI Studio will now begin generating your code. Click the Code tab to check the output. You'll notice that it creates files like index.html, index.css, and types.ts. The generated project is a React application built with TypeScript. TypeScript helps prevent many common errors, especially during deployment, making the project more secure and reliable. Let's wait a few moments while the code is generated. The app has now been created with a modern UI. You can preview it right here. Enter a text prompt and the app will generate an image. To view it in full screen, click the full screen button. Scrolling down, you'll also see pro tips, such as using specific lighting descriptions like cinematic lighting, mentioning art style, or defining the mood. You can also choose from multiple aspect ratios square, landscape, or portrait. Select whichever suits your idea. I already have an image idea, so I'll type a prompt and choose my aspect ratio. When you're ready, click Generate Image. Image generation will begin, and within a few seconds, you'll see the result. Here, the cinematic image of an island with dark mountains has been successfully generated. If you want to download it, click Download. The image quality is excellent, very high resolution. Now let's clear the text and try another prompt. This time, choose the landscape ratio and click generate image again. Here's the new image, a cinematic portrait of a man. If you open it in full screen mode, you'll notice the details look extremely realistic. This app is fully responsive as well. You can preview it on tablet, mobile, and desktop. Google AI Studio clearly offers a powerful set of tools. If you want to see the source code, click the code button. You can customize everything manually. You also have multiple options. Save the project directly to Google Drive, download the complete code as a zip file, push the project to GitHub, deploy the app instantly, share the app with others. This is the power of Google AI Studio. Once you've downloaded the zip file, extract it. Right-click, extract here. Next, open the folder in VS Code. Inside VS Code, open the file app.tsx to confirm the code is there. Now open a new terminal. Click the three dots, select terminal. Then choose new terminal in the terminal. Type npmi. This installs all required npm packages. The installation takes a few seconds. Around 34 packages will be added. After that, run, npm run build. This creates a dist folder containing your production ready build. Once the build is complete, you will see the dist folder. Close VS Code. Now go to Google and search for netlify.com. On the homepage, log in using Google or email. Click add new project, then choose deploy manually. Drag and drop your dist folder into the uploader. Deployment will begin automatically. After a few moments, you'll see a link. Let's say the name is something like golden. Open it in a new tab. Your app is now fully deployed. You may want to change the automatic domain name. To do this, open project configuration, click change project name, and enter a custom name. For example, I'll try text to image. If it's taken, try another one like text to image com. Once you find an available name, save it. Open the new link to confirm everything is working. Yes, it's working perfectly. The website is live. We built and deployed this entire project for free from zero to 100% in just a few minutes. If you enjoyed this video, Video, make sure to like and subscribe so we can create more content like this in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.